This game certainly gets top marks in the music department. This is Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together another fantastic installment in the Final Fantasy Tactics series from Square Enix. Miles, jewels of the Abero Sea. Long a center of naval commerce, the people here have struggled throughout history. Can you deliver that narration with just a little more dramatic intensity, please? And there's two kinds of people out there. People who like classic game room and people who love classic game room. Also, there's people who like tactics games and those who just think they're boring. I'm one of those people who love classic game room, obviously. And I love turn-based tactical strategy battle games, like this. I like to see these little people who walk in place wallop on each other with swords, axes, and casting magic spells which drop meteors out of the sky onto their heads. It's a lot of fun, a lot of thinking, they're like giant games of chess. And while Tactics Ogre is a bit wordy at times and the storyline is complex, the battles themselves are awesome. They're very well crafted, they get challenging quickly, and for newcomers there's a couple battles that start off with some very straightforward, clear, easy to understand tutorials. As you might expect as you play through the game and win battles, your characters level up and become more powerful. You buy armor weapons and magic spells. I would recommend wandering around a bit after you uh, win the first couple battles to level them up a few more times before you start really getting into the storyline, because uh, you will get your ass handed to you once the enemy starts dropping magic spells on you. Fear the mighty order of wind squid and our magic tentacles of doom! <laughs> it's really all about magic with these games. You want a couple archers, some guys on the ground with swords, but you've, you've got to have like Merlin or Gandalf in the background just leveling people with fire and meteors. Anyway, presentation on the PSP is excellent, the music in this game is awesome. And so are the controls. It's a Final Fantasy Tactics game, and one that I find more interesting than the past couple that I played. There's a lot of different character classes, and the customization will take you a long time. This is not a game for those with no attention span. Because you'll want to sink a lot of time into Tactics Ogre. While this game doesn't reinvent the genre in any particular way, it does deliver a solid storyline that gets interesting the more that you get into it. It's a bit complicated and wordy at the beginning, but once you learn the characters, then it's like, oh yeah, okay, I see what's going on now. And like many of these games, the people that you think are your friends at the beginning turn out to be your enemies. There's twists and turns, a lot of drama and battle after battle of tactics goodness. Here's a look at some of the setup, magic, and equipment screens. And as you can see, you'll spend a lot of time in here, trading in experience for new skills and equipping all of your magic spells and armor. The battlefields are fairly traditional Final Fantasy tactics fair. They mix it up with a variety of environments, and sometimes it'll be raining, which lowers your accuracy. Along with a lengthy single-player campaign, there are some multiplayer options as well and you can save mid-battle, so it's an easy game to play if you're traveling on the train or bus. It's Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together. Kind of a strange subtitle. They could have come up with something more badass to match the awesomeness of this game. Like Tactics Ogre. The Order of Wind Squid rocks you. <laughs> Fans of the other Tactics games and others like Vandal Hearts and the Front Mission series will find a solid tactical strategy game here that packs a lot of fun. One that I find a lot less flowery than some of the more recent installments. It just comes across as badass, even if the subtitle isn't. It's Tactics Ogre for the PSP. Let us cling together for dear life! <laughs> 